Hey everyone, it's uh, Dr. Lukin here from the Lukin Center for Psychotherapy. And today I just wanted to speak to all of you to talk a little bit about options that exist for substance abuse treatment. Because uh, <clears throat> what I've noticed in my work is that a lot of people are just married to only a couple of options and they're not really aware of the um, extensive types of treatments that exist. So what I wanted to do today is just do uh, an overview of everything that exists out there. So I do want to jump in uh, by saying we, we want to think of it in, you know, potentially three different ways. One, the, you know, the traditional psychotherapy route. Two, also uh, the group route and also the medication route. There's so many people out there that are not even aware that there is a relatively effective medication that exists out there. Of course, I'm not a physician, so you may want to get in touch with your primary care physician or psychiatrist to talk further. So I'm just trying to do an overview that everyone's informed if you're struggling with a substance abuse disorder, be it with some sort of uh, drugs or alcohol. Hopefully this video will tell you, aha, these are some of the things that I may want to consider. So um, as we talk about individual work, group work, and medicine, I also want to throw in there that there's different types of care or different types of levels of care. It goes from anywhere from detox or detoxification programs, which where an individual is really struggling and is really abusing uh, a particular drug or alcohol, which they need medical care for in order to weave themselves, wean themselves off of it. And that's called a detox program. It's usually anywhere between three to seven days. And that's where, you know, physicians, therapists help an individual to get the, um, to help, to help the patient move through the stages uh, of withdrawal under medical attention. The second thing that often comes up after an individual uh, completes a detox program is what's called a rehabilitation program. Now that program typically is about 28 days um, and that's where an individual is, it's an inpatient facility um, where an individual is able to attend to their psychotherapy needs, you know, potentially process some trauma, also find effective strategies, how to deal with urges going forward. There's always typically a, a psychiatric evaluation as well uh, to discuss some med management. Afterwards, uh, what typically happens is an individual steps down to either an intensive outpatient program, which is often um, three or four times a week for two to three times at a time. Again, because when we're coming off um, a significant um, substance abuse disorder, we do want to think about the, uh, to get as, as much help as possible. Uh, a big, um, yeah, I got to be honest with you, a big mistake that some people make is that they skip steps and they think, no, I'm good. I should be, I should be good on my own. Well, in reality, uh, going through the steps as designed, it really shows to be the most effective way to recover from uh, substance abuse disorder. So detoxification is often needed when individuals are in the throes of an addiction, followed by a rehabilitation program, or what's commonly referred to as rehab program, that also helps an individual to be able to you know, get the bearings straight, just to make sure be away from any triggers where they're able to consume uh, drugs or alcohol. Lastly is what's called just weekly therapy, if you will. And that's a common thing that we do here at the Lucan Center where an individual is, um, has probably uh, completed some of the steps that I just described and is now interested in maintenance sessions where that individual work on a weekly or biweekly basis really helps an individual either to uh, maintain sobriety uh, or more extensively process either trauma or some, some other you know, mental health concern so that they're able to stay you know, sober going forward. So that's the typical trajectory of what people do when they struggle with substance abuse disorder. One other thing that I do want to throw out there as I've started the video talking about groups. A lot of people uh, think that um, AA is the only option or the 12-step program is the only option out there. Out there, I do want to you know, throw some other options out there. For instance, like Smart Recovery is a more you know, cognitively based group uh, approach. It's also very similar to AA. Um, it's, it's free to attend. They're pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's oftentimes uh, led by a person that's not only in the recovery, but also has a little bit of uh, clinical uh, background as well. So you kind of get that uh, peer and sometimes also clinical bent to, to those meetings. Uh, they're a bit different. Uh, I mean, they're structured differently than your typical AA. Uh, <clears throat> meetings. Um, the other thing uh, that a lot of people are unaware of is what's called refuge recovery. Refuge recovery is um, based more on kind of Eastern thought, 
uh, mindfulness, meditation, kind of Buddhist ideas, which also has shown to be extremely effective in helping individuals move, move, move through and heal from a particular substance abuse disorder. Again, they, all these groups are a little different. So if you are considering getting help, I would encourage you to uh, just Google those three options and see which one works best for you. Lastly, what I wanted to touch upon is medication. Now, a lot of people are unaware that there's medications out there to help an individual recover from a substance abuse disorder. One thing that comes to mind, especially when we're dealing with alcohol, is, is antabuse. It's a common medication used in order for an individual to basically not be able to consume alcohol as that there's a, a particular reaction that happens that makes a person you know, not feel great, to put it lightly, if they do decide to consume alcohol. And a lot of people that I work with uh, you know, at the start have um, reservation about using that type of treatment. However, um, as I've been working with people with substance abuse concerns for over 15 years now, I have noticed that it's been very effective, not only for people to abstain from using alcohol, but also kind of taking that conversation out of their head and really focus on growing and uh, finding other ways to, uh, to manage their triggers. Now, again, the medication piece doesn't have to be there forever, but it is extremely helpful in the beginning stages, especially. Uh, so again, just to kind of zoom out a little bit, there's the, the part where an individual really requires a lot more intensive work, uh, potential a detox, rehabilitation, or an intensive outpatient program, or if uh, the person has completed that, or maybe their, uh, their substance abuse issues are not as extensive, you may want to look into different types of groups that I mentioned. You may want to think about talking to a psychiatrist about medication options, or of course, you may want to think about individual uh, work as well as somebody at the, at here at the Lincoln Center or basically any, uh, any practice near where you live. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope this video has been helpful. Thank, thank you so much guys and take care.